Hello, welcome to episode three of the HFA Youth Council's sit down with Team HFA. I'm Cam Wood, the chair of the Herefordshire FA Youth Council. I'm Dan Hoskins, the vice chairman of the Herefordshire FA Youth Council. And I'm Ben Archer, the football services assistant at the Herefordshire FA. OK, Ben, just a nice little easy question to start it off. Little icebreaker. What is your favourite film and why? Oh, OK. Um, so many films to choose from. Well, I'll tell you what, I watched one the other day, actually, which um, Happy Gilmore. I don't know if you guys know that one. I do love that yeah. film. Yeah. Um, <laughs> first time I watched it as a kid, I, I laughed and laughed and laughed. And I'll say I saw, it, I saw it again the other day and it still makes me laugh now. So why not? That was, was pretty funny. Uh, awesome. Now, now here comes the serious questions. <laughs> uh, why did you become the football service assistant at Herefordshire FA? Well, the opportunity to be involved in football full time is was just it's just a dream, really. Um, it's not many opportunities like that these days. A lot, a lot of football related work is is part time. So to be able to support and, and grow the game locally. Um, and I say being involved in football full time was just was just a fantastic opportunity. So Ben, what makes Herefordshire FA youth focused? What makes them youth focused? Mm -hmm. um, well, obviously the council, the starters. You, you guys are there for a reason. You're part of the HFA to to hopefully encourage youngsters to, to participate. We have a lot of um, youth football going on for the junior leagues and the girls leagues and and even now 16 year olds can, can play in the men's county league and, and, and the women's football as well so uh, there's a lot of youth football going around social media is, is a big part of that as well i know kids are all over that and, and and we try and advertise ourselves and promote ourselves and and encourage people to communicate with us along the way so ben why are you passionate about football in herefordshire well, I've been involved in football since since I was six or seven years old. Um, I moved away a couple of times and always seemed to come back to Hereford. I think Hereford has a lot of potential. There's some good people working in the football in Hereford and then around the game. So football mad. So this place has a lot of a lot of uh, interest to me, and they can go a long way if 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 the chance comes about. Uh, um, next question for you is, what has been your favourite moment uh, since working for Herefordshire FA? I started working for the HFA in January 2020. So considering the last year and a half that we've had with COVID-19, I think I've actually spent more time at home than I have in the office. Um, when I first arrived, the people, the staff at the HFA were fantastic, really, really nice and welcoming and supportive. Um, they they really enjoy what they do and passionate about what they do, um, which is great to be involved with, with such a tight net um, members of staff. I think um, I think the end of the season is normally a big big thing for people. Obviously, at the moment we'll, we'll come into that, and the cup finals are starting next week for the men's county league and the men's county cups in Herefordshire. So. Well, that's always a quite a nice, nice way to finish the season. So yeah, looking forward to that. So um, Ben, where do you see the youth council being in five months' time? I like to see the youth council continue to grow, which I know it has done recently. Um, continue to be more visible through the county to different people in different areas. Um, again, personally, at my point, I, I work as a county league secretary running the men's county league. Uh, we have 16 to 18 year olds and, and I know youth council goes up to 24 years old. So if we can get some people from, from that area working on, on the youth council and supporting that, sharing our ideas, it can only help football locally and help the county league. Have you been aware of our uh, podcast series? I have, yes. Um, have you watched any of the episodes? 
I, I have watched bits. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I haven't watched the entire thing. It's been very busy wow. with terms of football since since we, we started back in April and trying to organise everything. But I have I have seen large sections of it. Um, what be your episode favourite episode that stood out to you? Being involved away from my role at HFA, being involved in, in the women's football. So I run Westfield's women football team. Um, so the gender podcast was really interesting, really good to see. Good to see the um, the the opinions that were shared. And it's good to see that the growth in women's game and the respect that they're getting. And hopefully that continues. So that was really good to, to see that. Yeah. Who would you say is the biggest legend of all time there? <laughs> we won't tell you what Joe said. There's only one legend in that office. Go on. That is Diane Phillips. Yeah, she she is my go-to girl. Whenever I need help, she is the one there for me. Those boys, don't listen to those other boys in the office. They're, they're <laughs> Terrible influences. That was episode three of the sit down with Team HFA. Thank you ever so much, Ben, for sitting down with us today. We really appreciate it. Um, this episode will be released on HFA TV in the next couple of weeks. And um, we look forward to seeing you for episode four. Right. Thank we'll you, Lance.